It's just part of aging. You have to accept your new body. There's not much you can do about it. If you're a woman in perimenopause or menopause struggling with unexplained weight gain, chances are you've heard things like this, maybe even from healthcare professionals. But what if I told you those statements don't tell the whole story? Welcome back to the menopause wellness journey. Today, we're tackling one of the most frustrating aspects of menopause for many women, the seemingly inevitable weight gain and the difficulty in losing those extra pounds, no matter what you try. But here's the good news. While hormonal changes during menopause do affect your metabolism and fat distribution, there are specific science-backed strategies that can help you manage your weight in this phase of life. And no, we're not talking about fad diets or magic fixes, but real, grounded approaches that address the unique physiological changes your body is going through. Let's explore the science behind menopause-related weight gain, and more importantly, the solutions that even experts rarely talk about. To manage weight during menopause, we first need to understand what's really happening in your body. Let's debunk a few myths. Myth number one, it's all estrogen's fault. The truth, while declining estrogen plays a role, the story is much more complex. Menopause brings changes in multiple hormones, including progesterone, testosterone, thyroid hormone, cortisol, and insulin, all interacting in ways that affect your metabolism. Myth number two, you're just getting older your metabolism naturally slows down. The truth, a 2021 study published in Science challenged the belief that our metabolism steadily declines with age. In fact, after adjusting for body mass, metabolism remains relatively stable from ages 20 to 60. What changes during menopause isn't your basal metabolic rate as much as other critical factors? Myth number three, just eat less and exercise more. The truth, while energy balance still matters, menopause creates a hormonal environment that favors fat storage, particularly in the abdominal region. Simply cutting calories can worsen underlying imbalances. So what's really going on? Let's break down the four major physiological shifts that contribute to menopausal weight gain. Shift number one, fat redistribution. As estrogen declines, fat redistributes from hips and thighs to the abdominal region, leading to more visceral fat, the type that surrounds internal organs and is linked to increased risks for heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and certain cancers. A Mayo Clinic study found that even women who didn't gain overall weight during menopause often experienced a noticeable increase in waist circumference. This isn't just cosmetic. Visceral fat is metabolically active and produces inflammatory compounds that harm your overall health. Shift number two, reduced insulin sensitivity. Menopause is linked to decreased insulin sensitivity, regardless of age or BMI. This means your body must produce more insulin to regulate the same amount of blood sugar. Since insulin is a storage hormone, chronically elevated levels encourage fat storage and hinder fat burning. More visceral fat leads to more insulin resistance, creating a vicious cycle. Shift number three, loss of muscle mass. We begin losing muscle mass after age 30, but the decline accelerates during menopause. Muscle is metabolically active and burns more calories at rest than fat, so this loss lowers your total energy expenditure. Women can lose up to three to 5% of muscle mass per decade after 30, with a sharp acceleration during menopause due to hormonal changes. Shift number four, HPAA axis dysregulation and cortisol. The hypothalamic pituitary adrenal HPA axis, your stress response system, is sensitive to estrogen. As estrogen drops, many women experience dysregulation of this system, leading to altered cortisol patterns. Chronically elevated or erratic cortisol promotes belly fat storage, increases cravings for high calorie foods, and disrupts sleep, all contributing to weight gain. Now that we know what's happening, let's talk solutions. The answer is not a single diet or workout plan, but a multi-layered strategy that targets each physiological shift. Component number one, progressive resistance training. Forget endless cardio. For menopausal women, resistance training should be the cornerstone. It counteracts muscle loss, boosts basal metabolism, and improves insulin sensitivity. A study in JAMA showed postmenopausal women who lifted weights twice a week for a year increased muscle mass and metabolic rate without cutting calories. The key is progression. Start where you are, but aim to gradually lift heavier or increase resistance over time. Component number two, insulin smart meal timing. What and when you eat matters. 
Modified intermittent fasting, especially time-restricted eating, has shown promising results. A University of California study found that eating within an 8 to 10 hour window improved insulin sensitivity and reduced belly fat in middle-aged women. Start gently with a 12 hour overnight fast, such as 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Extend gradually if your body adapts well. Component number three, evidence-based stress management. HPA axis regulation is essential. Stress reduction isn't optional, it's physiological support. A UCSF study found that menopausal women who practiced mindfulness for eight weeks saw significant cortisol reductions and symptom improvements. Other methods, deep breathing, like the four to seven eight technique, restorative yoga, and forest bathing. Component number four, optimizing sleep. Poor sleep is closely tied to weight gain and insulin resistance, and 60% of menopausal women report sleep problems. Prioritize sleep hygiene. Keep your room cool, 60, 70, dark, quiet, and maintain a consistent sleep routine. Try weighted blankets or cooling pillows to improve sleep and manage night sweats. Now let's talk about the menopause-specific nutrition that you need to try. Principle number one, adequate, evenly distributed protein. Protein needs increase post-menopause. Aim for 1.2 to 1.6 grams per kg of body weight per day spread evenly across meals. A Journals of Gerontology study found that evenly spaced protein intake helped women preserve muscle mass more effectively. Principle number two, fiber and phytochemicals for metabolic health. Cruciferous veggies support estrogen metabolism. Leafy greens offer magnesium and potassium to regulate blood pressure and insulin. Berries provide antioxidants to counter menopause-related oxidative stress. Principle three, strategic fats. Omega-3s from fatty fish, flax seeds, walnuts reduce inflammation and boost insulin sensitivity. Evo supports heart and bone health. Avocados offer potassium and healthy fats. Principle number four, moderate carbs, not no carbs. Avoid ultra-low carb diets. They can spike cortisol and worsen HPA stress. Focus on low glycemic carbs like legumes, whole grains, whole fruits, paired with protein and fat. Principle number five, gut health support. Menopause affects your microbiome, impacting metabolism. Include fermented foods, kimchi, sauerkraut, kefir, plain yogurt, and prebiotic-rich foods, onions, garlic, asparagus, green bananas. Now, supplements that actually work, no supplement replaces the basics, but these have strong support. Magnesium improves insulin sensitivity and reduces water retention linked to smaller waist circumference in older women. Vitamin D3 K2 supports bone health and metabolic function. K2 enhances D3 efficacy. Omega-3s, EPHA, reduces inflammation and improves insulin function, shown to reduce abdominal fat when combined with exercise. Berberin, a plant compound that rivals metformin for improving insulin sensitivity. Consult your doctor first. Targeted probiotics. Certain strains like Lactobacillus gasseri and L. rhamnosus have reduced belly fat in studies. Always consult your healthcare provider before starting any new supplement. Weight gain in menopause is not inevitable, nor is it just about willpower or aging. It's about very real physiological changes that require a smarter approach. By focusing on progressive resistance training, insulin-sensitive nutrition, stress regulation, sleep quality, and targeted supplementation, you can manage your weight and improve your health in this phase. Your body isn't failing, it's changing. It needs a different strategy, not a fight. Work with it, not against it. Share in the comments, which strategy are you most excited to try? If this video helped you, Give it a like and subscribe for more evidence-based content on women's midlife health. In our next video, we'll explore the gut health menopause connection and how optimizing your microbiome can reduce symptoms. Thank you for watching. And remember, menopause isn't the end of your vitality. With the right tools, it can be the beginning of a vibrant new chapter.